I'll be teaching you how to create this eye-catching bling bling effect in Illustrator. You will learn how to create the texture and apply it to any text. So let's get started. Open the Adobe Illustrator. Here I have used the Adobe Illustrator CC. You can use it or another like Adobe Illustrator CS6. Open a new document. First, you will need to turn on the grid from View Show Grid. Now take the Pen Tool. Create a triangle using Pen Tool. Keep the triangle object selected. Click on the gradient color. In the gradient panel, select the color mode RGB. In this position, select the color value R equals 248. G equals 95, B equals 255. In the 0% position, select the color value, R equals 254, G equals 231, B equals 255. Select angle minus 90 degree. Now keep the triangle object selected, copy, and paste, this object or you can holding down the control button and click the mouse left button to copy it. Select this object and right click on it. Select transform, reflect. In the reflect panel, check axis horizontal and click OK. Now keep select the rotate triangle object. Select RGB, color value is R equals 255 G equals 239, B equals 255. Select RGB, color value in the position 0% is R equals 255, G equals 255, B equals 255. Select both triangles, and hold out, option, and drag a copy beside it. Press Ctrl slash Command plus D to automate duplicate more copies, until you have a row. Select the whole row, and drag a copy down, and move it slide to the right as shown. Select both rows and drag more copies down, until you formed a pattern. Select a random triangle object, and change its gradient color is light red pink, from the gradient panel. Apply the same gradient color, for the different random triangle object. Using the rectangle tool, draw a square that will determine the area of repetition for the pattern. Make sure the top and bottom will tile properly. Once the pattern is done, select the square and set the stroke to none. Select all the shapes, and resize it smaller, by pressing Shift. Open up your swatches, and drag your pattern to the swatches. Your pattern is now created. Now we would like to apply this texture, over the text. Now take the Type tool, and type your desired text. Resize, and reposition the text, and set its front family, Cooper Heavy. Now apply the previously created glitter pattern, over the text. Now set the background color, as black. Take a rectangle tool, and draw a rectangle, over the viewport. Now press, Shift plus Ctrl plus Start third bracket, to send back as background. Hold the Alt key and take the copy of this spark text. For this reason, keep the text selected, and right-click on it. Select Outline. From the Effect Path, Offset Path, and set offset it by 0.25 inches for my text. Now apply the gradient color from the gradient panel. In the gradient 0% position, set the color mode RGB. Set a pink type color according to your design. 
set a gradient point, almost 25% position, and set another relative pink color. Set another gradient point, almost 50% position, and set a relative pink color. Set another gradient point, almost 75% position, and set a relative pink color. Set another gradient point, 100% position, and set a relative white color. This gradient color value, can be changed depends, on your text or style. Now change the gradient color angle, according to the text adjustment. After done it, place the main text, over the recently created gradient color text. Now place this both object, over the black window, as a group object. Now keep the text object selected, and go to, Effect, Stylize, Outer Glow. In the Outer Glow panel, check the preview. Mode color is light pink, opacity 90%. Blur 40 pixels and click OK. Now again take the rectangle tool, and set it as a gradient color. In the gradient panel, for the gradient 0% position, set the color mode RGB. Set a pink type color, according to your design. Set a gradient point, almost 25% position, and set another relative pink color. Set another gradient point, almost 50% position, and set a relative pink color. Set another gradient point, almost 75% position, and set a relative pink color. Set another gradient point, 100% position, and set a relative white color. This gradient color value, can be changed depends, on your text or style. Change the gradient angle minus 23 degree. This can be changed depends on your text style. After done this, go to transparency panel, and set the style overlay. Opacity 45%. Now we would like to set, some spark on the text to be more realistic. Now take the star tool and draw a star for the spark object, set its color as, white. Now take an ellipse tool, and draw a circle. Place this circle, over the previously created star. Reposition this circle as a way that should be placed in the center of the star. Now keep select the circle, and go to, effect. Blur, Gaussian Blur. In the Gaussian Blur panel, check Preview, and set the Radius Blur, value 19.4. Click OK. Now resize the inner spark circle, or star object to be more realistic, as a spark. Duplicate more spark to create our final effect. Place this spark, over the different position. In the text, you can change the angle, size for the different spark, as you want. This is our final production. So now you can save it, as an Adobe Illustrator format by the, file. Save as. Again you can save it, as an image format. Hope you enjoy this spark text effect, and have fun.